calculating risk-adjusted return on capital, RARUC, for a loan portfolio. Beyond loss calculation, this same methodology can be used to calculate a profitability measure called RARUC, risk-adjusted return on capital. The idea of this example is to show how to calculate profitability using RARUC for each one of the components of this portfolio. According to Wikipedia, risk-adjusted return on capital, RARUC, is a risk-based profitability measure and framework for analyzing risk-adjusted financial performance and providing a consistent view of profitability across businesses. The concept was developed originally by Bankers Trust. To calculate the risk part of the portfolio, we need to first calculate the probabilistic loss, loss at a certain confidence level, of the assets that compose this portfolio. We do this part with Monte Carlo simulation using at risk. Once this loss is calculated, a profitability index, RARUC, is calculated based on a profitability formula. In general terms, RARUC refers to the general idea that risk is traded off against benefit. RARUC is defined as the ratio of risk-adjusted return to economic capital. The economic capital is the amount of money required to secure the survival in a worst-case scenario. It is a buffer against unexpected shocks in market values. Economic capital is a function of market risk, credit risk, and operational risk, and it is often calculated by value at risk, VAR. This use of capital based on risk improves the capital allocation across different functional areas of lending institutions, such as banks, insurance companies, or any business in which capital is placed at risk for an expected return above the risk-free rate. A RARUC model can be used for two major reasons, for risk management purposes and for performance evaluation. For risk management purposes, the main goal of allocating capital to individual business units is to determine the institution's optimal capital structure. That is, economic capital allocation is closely correlated with individual business risk. As a performance evaluation tool, it allows banks to assign capital to business units based on the economic value added of each unit. In our example, we will use RARUC to determine adequate capital allocation among portfolio types, consumer, mortgages, vehicles for various regions, cities, and branches. 23. On cell N3, insert the following formula that individually calculates for each loan its RARUC. Equals, open to parenthesis, H3 times open parenthesis, dollar $D3 minus fund cost, close to parenthesis, minus open parenthesis, H3 divided by dollar H dollar one times open parenthesis N D O P X plus VAR cost minus other ink close to parenthesis minus dollar M three close one parenthesis divided by open parenthesis H three times lever close parenthesis. Let us go part by part, understanding each one of the sections of this formula. In general, RARUC here is seen as profitability on capital. In other words, it is an index with a numerator that considers net return on a loan, that is, its net revenue, and a denominator that calculates capital. Net revenue over capital. Net revenue, in turn, is calculated by subtracting from revenues all expenses and losses attributable to them. In other words, a net revenue is the operating profit on any given loan, considering potential losses and costs. Double parenthesis H3 times open parenthesis dollar D3 minus fund cost, close to parenthesis. Outstanding amount times net interest margin. The net interest margin is the percentage differential between the interest on the loan minus its funding cost. For example, if the annual interest being charged on a loan is 5.60% and the cost of sourcing funds is 4%, then net interest margin is 1.60%. When multiplied net interest margin times the outstanding amount, we compute the potential revenue generated by this loan in a year. 
H3 over H1. This is an allocation factor. It represents the proportion of a certain loan with respect to the total portfolio. It allows the allocation of three different types of expenses directly allocated to any loan. Non-distributable operating expenses, such as overhead costs, other income, and variable costs. These elements are considered on this part of a formula. Open parenthesis and DOPX plus VAR costs minus other ink, close parenthesis, and multiplied by the allocation factor for each loan. M3. This is the potential loss on default that in this model will be treated stochastically as structured before. H3 times lever. This is capital and represents the denominator of RAYROC. The outstanding amount of a loan multiplied times its leverage factor yields the capital required by it in order to generate revenues net of expenses and potential losses. 24. Copy N3 down to the range of all other loan lines. 25. On N1, insert the following function that calculates the weighted average free rock for the total portfolio. Equals sum product, open parenthesis, N3 through N502, fixed range, comma, H3 through H502, fixed range, close parenthesis, divided by fixed H1. 26. Declare N1 as an output. Once this has been done, the formula on N1 should look like this. Equals risk output, open parenthesis between double quotes, Ray Ruck, plus some product, open parenthesis, N3 through N502, comma, H3 through H502, close parenthesis, divided by H1, fixed. On cell O3, Calculate the mean ray rock of each loan with the at risk function risk mean. The cell should look like this equals risk mean open parenthesis and three close parenthesis. You can never trust the values calculated of simulated functions such as this one until after a simulation has been run. In other words, once a simulation has been run, at risk now possesses the collected information necessary to calculate the mean, in this case, of any given simulated cell. 28. On cell O1, also calculate the mean of total ray rock with the formula equals risk mean, open parenthesis, and one, close parenthesis. 29. Proceed to simulate again. 